Hi, everybody. My name is Nick Jordan. I'm the founder of Cluster AI. Cluster AI automates the keyword research process using data from Google. I'm going to give you a high level overview, and then we're going to actually show you how easy it is in the next two minutes, uh, where you're going to automate hundreds and hundreds of pages of keyword research. Uh, so essentially, the way it works is you want to build your keyword list using your favorite Key, uh, keyword research tool, um, Ahrefs, SEMrush, Moz, Google Search Console, et cetera. And then you wanna import that list into Cluster AI. And what Cluster AI does is it crawls the, the first page search results. And what it does is it matches keywords that can rank together. Um, and when it finds three or more pages that rank for a group of keywords, it will group those keywords together. And that's literally it. So let's give you an example of how your keyword research process looks like using Cluster AI. Uh, so I'm gonna highlight an example using FreshBooks. FreshBooks uh, is, um, has an incredible organic search campaign ran by Steve Toth at seonotebook.com. And they're doing you know, over a million visitors a month from organic. Well, how do they do a million visitors a month from organic? Uh, it turns out that they have a lot of content, um, 20, almost 2,500 pages. Now, I wanna figure out how many of those pages are, are bottom of the funnel related to invoicing. So I'm only going to include pages that have invoice invoicing or invoices in the URLs. And we can see that, um, FreshBooks has 283 pages about invoicing. And we can see that their number one page generates 37% of the traffic. What that means is that the other 63% of the traffic is generated by this long tail. And the reason FreshBooks did this is because they can't rank for the long tail using just their, their main page. They actually need to write all of these long tail articles to rank for all of the ways that people are searching for invoice, invoices, and invoicing. Um, invoice template PDF is a different article than free invoice template Word, which is a different article than invoice template Google Docs, which is a different article than sample invoice. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to figure out all of the ways that people search for invoicing uh, on Google. And we're gonna start with Ahrefs Keyword Explorer. We're gonna type in invoice, invoices, and invoicing. We wanna go as broad as possible because we don't know how people search. We don't know if they use invoice or if they use invoices or if they use invoicing to find information on Google. Ahrefs indicates that there's 290, 239,000 ways that people are using these three keywords in their search results when we use the having same search term feature. Now, this is the part of keyword research that is broken because the process of determining how many pages you need in which keywords go on which page is done manually. And it's done uh, based off of gut level decisions. It's not done using data. Um, and scoping out how many pages you need to create around invoicing from 239,000 keywords uh, is gonna take you weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of time to do, but not when you use cluster AI. The next step is we're going to export this list of 25,000 keywords, um, and then we're gonna import that list into cluster AI. And at that point, we are done. So I'm gonna wait for it to finish here. It's done. Let's go to cluster AI. We're gonna drop the file in. Um, we're gonna provide any additional recipients that should receive the keyword research. And if we wanna save our keyword research, uh, we're going to grab this URL um, and drop it here. And that means we don't have to start over if we wanna change it in the future. So we're gonna go ahead and click submit. And uh, Cluster AI is gonna take over. Our job here is done. And in a couple hours, depending on the size of the list, we're gonna receive um, a file that looks like this via email. And in the file, we call an opportunity analysis. We have the main keyword, we have the variations of the main keyword, and we have the monthly search volume 
of the main keyword plus all of the variations. Um, what we're looking at is every page of content that we need to create to saturate the funnel and rank for every way that people search for information related to invoices. So invoice template is one page, invoice generator is one page, invoice template word is one page, invoice simple is one page, invoice definition is another page. And what you wanna do is you wanna use the main keyword in places like your URL and H1, and then you wanna use the variations in places like the H2s, H3s, and within the content. Now, the great thing about doing keyword research using data from Google is I can prove that it's world-class. And the way I'll do that is by comparing the main keyword against the variations. Um, and what you'll find is that every variation has at least three results in common with the main keyword. What that means is that between these two keywords, there's always going to be three or more pages that rank for both keywords with one page. And if there are three other websites that rank for both keywords with one page, you can probably rank for both keywords with one page and Cluster AI groups these keywords together into discrete content topics. Now, a lot of people have questions about cannibalization. We can also prove that no cannibalization exists in this list of content that you need to create. And the reason that I can prove it is because each main keyword has less than two results in common with any other main keyword. What that means is that between invoice template and invoice generator, there's two or less results that rank for both keywords with one page. And if there are less, you know, if there's zero websites on the internet that are ranking for both these keywords with one page, you probably can't rank for both keywords with one page either. Now, scroll through this list and you're gonna see that we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of um, pages of content that we could be uh, writing about to capture people who are interested in sending some sort of invoice and who FreshBooks would be a great fit. Um, the next step is now we can begin, once we have this data and we understand how much traffic each page can generate, we can go ahead and we can start um, forecasting outcomes. Let's take the first 100 pages. Uh, the monthly search volume is a combined 1.17 million searches per month within just the first 100 pages. So I built an ROI calculator that allows us to, to forecast various outcomes. What happens if the campaign is very successful? What happens if it's kind of successful? What happens if it's not very successful? Um, and what you do is you manipulate the numbers here and the numbers down here change. All right, so first we have the total monthly search volume and that's the combined search volume that these 100 pages uh, can address. Now the click-through rating or the click-through um, click rate, 10% um, according to Brian Dean is equal to about position five. I think this is fairly conservative. If you wanna go even more conservative, you can. Um, and then we have to calculate a conversion percentage. Again, I'm using a very conservative percentage of um, you know, 0 0.08. Uh, and we can even go even farther. We can do 0 0.05. Um, Now, if you're not doing B2B SaaS or, or B2C SaaS, you might not need uh, to use the variable sales qualified leads. Um, so we're just gonna assume 100% of the, the conversions are qualified. And then we can type in what our average um, purchase, purchase value is for the month. Um, you know, what's, what's our, what's our um, subscription pricing and then how long do people stay? And so now we can begin to scope what a successful campaign looks like. And we can start tweaking the variables uh, to understand how the campaign changes at various stages of the funnel. Um, and previously this wasn't, this wasn't possible because SEOs didn't know how big the funnel was. Um, 
And then what we can do is we can multiply this outcome or compare this outcome against what our cost is to implement this campaign. So if my content cost is $250 per page of content, and I wanna write about the top 100 uh, pages that cluster I found, I know that'll cost me $25,000 to execute. Um, and the potential of this campaign goes well, we're looking at $170,000 a month in, in new revenue each month, um, but a total LTV of around 2 million a month in new LTV. Uh, so I hope this demo explained your questions. If not, there's a support chat within the app. Uh, feel free to contact us there and we'll address anything that you wanna know. Um, you can also find an FAQ uh, in the footer, Cluster I FAQ, and it explains more information about um, how to prepare your keyword research, um, some example deliverables um, that, that you can expect, um, and then some links to other pages that explain how to use and how to prepare your keyword research.